It's been the most hyped football season around here in over 30 years, and after what seems like a lifetime talking about it tonight, the journey for a historic season finally begins. The Red Raiders, they haven't won 10 or more games since 1976. Tonight, the Red and Black went after it, win number one of 2008. Let's take you out there. The Red Raiders out of the locker room, onto the field. The Red Raider defense, they took the field first, and what a start. First play of the season, Brian Duncan, middle linebacker. He takes the deflected pass, intercepts it intercepts it and the Red Raiders in business. The offense would take it down the field a little bit, punch it in. Shannon Woods, the starting running back, he takes it in from two yards out. Texas Tech just like that on top, seven to nothing. Later in the first quarter, Graham Harrell, perfect throw to Emo. Eric Morris, great catch. It led to a Harrell TD, but Tech missed an extra point for the first time since 04. It was 13 to nothing, then Crabtree gets on the board. That's his first touchdown of 2008. 21 nothing after the two point conversion. Second quarter, it's 28 to 7. The defense back in the highlight. Ray John Henley, the defensive lineman with the interception. But the Red Raider had their lead cut to 28 17 at the half. Third quarter action. Morris back to receive a punt. And oh, loss of focus there. He muffs it. Eastern Washington on it. That is some sloppy play there. But on the ensuing drive, Eastern Washington trying for a field goal. Tech gets it back. Taylor Charbonnet blocks the attempt. And the momentum back on the home sideline. Later in the third quarter, Harrell near the goal line back to throw again. Easy Ed in the corner. Great catch. Good concentration. Harrell over 500 yards passing tonight. That touchdown made it 35-17. to Then in the fourth quarter, more Texas Tech scoring. Four touchdowns on the ground tonight by Texas Tech. This one by Aaron Crawford. That made it 42-24. It's just gone final. The Red Raiders get the win, albeit a little sloppy. Lots of penalties, but the bottom line, the Red Raiders, 12th in the country. They start the season 1-0. 49-24, the final against Eastern Washington. Much more on this one tomorrow night as the Red Raiders start the season on a good note. They will be on the road next week, first road game of the season, as they will travel to Nevada. Saturday night against the Eagles of Eastern Washington, Graham Harrell threw for more than 536 yards, but only managed to toss a pair of touchdowns. Red Raiders still put 49 points on the scoreboard, and they did so because of the rushing attack. Four different players score on the ground, and three different running backs find the end zone. Running backs coach Seth Luttrell, well, he sounded downright prophetic back on August the 6th. If it's one guy, it's one guy. Hopefully it may be one guy. If it's not, I think all three of them can help us win games. And Saturday night at the Jones, the run game got it done for the Red Raiders. Starter Shannon Woods led the way for Texas Tech with a pair of scores on the ground, including the first touchdown of 2008. The senior carried the ball 13 times, caught a couple passes, and impressed a head coach who, at times in Woods' career, had not been enamored with number two. I thought he was a fairly polished uh, guy, uh, and that's probably what he does uh, better uh, than the other two right now is uh, just his overall game. Late last December, in the days leading up to the Gator Bowl, Woods was sent home from Jacksonville for violating team rules. Some guys would have quit altogether, but Woods stuck around, finished his undergraduate degree off the field, and reclaimed the starting job on it. And you can count Graham Harrell as someone that's impressed. He's doing great. Uh, through camp, he was uh, really consistent, and that's what it's all about. Uh, at the running back position in, in this offense, you know, a lot of times they're asked to block first, and uh, I think that the running backs get overlooked a lot in this system, and uh, they deserve a lot of credit. You know, they have to be really unselfish, and I think all our running backs have done that, and throughout Shan's career, he's done that. He's, he's been unselfish. He's, uh, you know, been through a lot, been through some good times, been through some bad times, and uh, he's been really consistent through camp and uh, had a pretty good game, and hopefully we'll just continue to get better. Woods not the only running back turning heads. Aaron Crawford blasted through for a six-yard score in the second half in Baron Batch, led all rushers with 41 yards on the ground, broke loose for a 26-yard touchdown. You know, Barron and uh, Crawford both had some real explosive runs. Like the score by Crawford, he kind of made the hole for himself, and then Batch does a good job uh, jamming her in there. Graham Harrell also got in on the scoring with a QB sneak, so the Red Raiders got five touchdowns on the ground, and Leach might even consider changing the game plan when his club gets inside the 10. Or maybe not. You know, it's funny. Uh, 
Tebow rushed for 20 touchdowns, which we didn't realize that was important until uh, until uh, you know until he did that. Uh, so we tended to throw him. So who knows? We'll see what happens. Welcome back with Texas Tech's 25-point win last night. The Red Raiders improved to 5-0 and under Mike Leach against Division I AA teams. The difference, though, the average margin of victory had been 60 points. So, with the high expectations, no wonder there's some eyebrow raising going on after the season opener. The Tech Talk boys going to pick things up from there. Here are Robert Giovanetti and Chris Lowell. Thanks, Jared. All right, the Red Raiders open up the season. Maybe not as impressive as we were all hoping for, but 49-24, and you're 1-0. Yeah, I mean, ultimately you get out with a win, uh, but uh, no, it wasn't what anyone expected. I don't think it was what uh, those guys expected, and I think that they even talked about that after the game was over. They maybe took East Washington a little lightly. I think to a man, they all agreed, hey, maybe we didn't respect these guys as much as we should have, but... Uh, I guess ultimately it's not how you start the season, it's how you finish it because they even discuss, you know, Mike Leach says after the game, hey, you know, at times tonight we look like that Gator Bowl team, you know, back in uh, Jacksonville, but right now we're not that team because they showed spurts of it, but, you know, throughout, uh, very frustrating, I think, just unimpressive performance overall. You know, we saw during, during the uh, fall camp lots of uh, fights and lots of feistiness. And then it come out tonight and uh, quite a few penalty yards from this team. <laughs> Inexcusable are your terms you come up with. I mean, you cannot do that if you're going to win a championship. You simply cannot make these mistakes. And, uh, you know, they, they attribute some of it to, I think, you know, lack of fundamentals and, and technique and some of those things. you got guys that are being aggressive and trying too hard. Uh, but you, you got to stop it. I mean, because some, some guys are just making boneheaded moves. And I think other times, you know, it's just maybe a bad call, but, you know, regardless, you've got to get that fixed. You've got to get it addressed. 18 penalties, I think, for 170 yards, so, something around that. I mean, you, you just cannot do that and, and, and expect to contend for a championship. You just can't do it. Were you surprised a little bit in the fact that you come out, and Mike Leach talks about it in his press conference, you come out and really look like you're going to put your foot on these guys' throat and really dominate them early, then they bounce back. Yeah, you know, that, I think he gave them a lot of credit. He felt like, you know, hey, we, we punched these guys hard. They punched back. They hung in there, and they sustained it. But, uh, I, you know, you would love to sit here and give East Washington all the credit in the world. Yeah, they might contend for the FCS championship or whatever, but that's not what this is about. You know, they might be fine and dandy and have a good quarterback and have, uh, you know, some, some good players on defense. But, no, this was about you. This was about, you know, what you need to address, how you play, uh, you know, and how well you're doing things or not doing things right now because Nevada – you know, you don't want to sit there next weekend and after the game and give a lot of credit to Nevada either. It needs to be addressed, and I think it's something that needs to be worked on. But the other part of it is, too, you do come out and you do take care of business. The sky's not falling. You're still 1-0, and really all you can do is try to get better next week. There will be a lot of knee-jerk reactions this week, I think, with this team, where people will, will say what they'll write, uh, you know, all, all those things. And, uh, and, and, you know, and maybe some of those coaches and, and players will have some of those same type of reactions. I think that just shows you where the expectations are for this team and that you have a 25-point win, you know, at home. And, and, and you, you almost get the sense from hearing these players and coaches after the game talk about it. It's almost kind of like a loss. Very somber mood, uh, you know, not, not, not many smiles, and, and almost just the sense of we stunk it up, you know, but yet they won by 25 points. That just shows you where the bar is right now, and, that's, you know, that's a good sign, obviously. But, but tonight's end result. You win, but how you got to that point is not what you're looking for. All right, bright spots on what you saw tonight's ballgame? I tell you what, bright spots, Eric Morris, Detron Lewis, clearly, uh, you know, they, they did a number on that defense. I think that they got, in the, you know, it's funny, too. Graham Harrell, for the most part, had a good night statistical-wise. You know, over 500 yards, only has 15 incompletions, and, and, and you know, I think 58 completions, but never got in a rhythm. So, uh, it, uh, Taylor Charbonnet, you know, I, I think he's somebody, you know, on special teams. Uh, we were looking at who was going to step up after the losses of Stephen Harris and L.A. Reed's out. And Taylor Charbonnet, clearly a force on special teams, blocks a field goal and uh, things like that. But uh, not many bright spots. All right, Red Raiders win their season opener 49-24 over Eastern Washington. Now go next week to Reno and try to go 2-0 against Nevada. Back to you, Jared. Thanks, boys. You can listen to those two every weekday afternoon from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Name of the show is Tech Talk. You can listen to it on Fox Talk at 9.50.